morning friends it is crystal welcome back to my channel it is monday morning i love monday so much um and i think it's partly just because everyone goes off to where they need to go the house is quiet and we just get back to routine weekends we have been so so busy lately with basketball and gymnastics and so mondays are just like the fresh start to the week that i feel like i need for myself now this Monday is actually going to be a busy day for me i have a lot of things i'd like to get done so today's video is going to almost be like a get it all done i have some things around the house that i'd love to take care of and then i'm also going to be running a bunch of errands i need to finish up some things for the new house and of course i'll have to stop there as well so probably around lunchtime when I head out, we'll stop through there and I'll give you another sneak peek of what they are up to. I do try to get there every single day and some of you were asking if they mind that I stop there and absolutely not. I just really mind my own business. I'll walk around, say hi, and tell them it looks good, you know, and that's about it, but I just can't hold back. I have to get there and see what they're doing, so. That's the plan. I've been actually texting back and forth with our electrician this morning and they're going to pick back up this week as well, which means all the light fixtures I have been ordering um, will get delivered out there, which also means I need to do that, deliver them, but also make sure I have light bulbs for all of them, which I know I do not. So I need to take inventory of that. That's one of the errands I need to do today. But anyways, join me today as we get a bunch of things done. So last week I only posted one video and I know some of you were wondering, where's Crystal at? What is she doing? And so I thought I would share today's video to give you an idea as to what I've been up to, where I have been. My day really consists of a lot of the same things day in and day out. I do a lot of cleaning and tidying up around the house. I run my errands, whether it be groceries. Um, I've also gotten into thrifting a lot, which I'm going to be sharing that here soon with you and also trying to make some house decisions, ordering more items. I did a lot of my ordering over Black Friday for some of the initial things, but now as we're getting closer to the house getting finished, there's a lot more small things that also need to get taken care of. So if you like these types of videos, please let me know in the comments below. Oh, and not to mention, I've also been super busy shuffling the kids around from different activities. Since my bedroom makeover video, I did add this little gingham or plaid pillow from Target. I had ordered it, it just didn't arrive in time for the video, but I think it definitely was needed and it looks so cute on the bed. So I'll link it below. It's a cream and white color, so it matches the bed perfectly. So the bed is made. Tomorrow I'm going to actually wash it, but today what I need to wash is this pile of laundry. Isn't that funny? I'm I, I don't think it's ever been this tall in this basket. So I'm going to get a load in the wash right now. I have enough laundry detergent on hand to only do one load. So I'm going to at least get one load going. And then later when we run some errands, I will make sure to pick up some more so I can continue washing because this is not all that needs to get done. I have another basket full of kids clothes. Winter season, they layer in clothing, which means more laundry and just a lot more work on my end. I am looking forward to summer when we just wear a pair of shorts and a short sleeve shirt and that's all. Crossing off more items from my to-do list, one of those being unloading the dishwasher. Now it's kind of funny because we're in this rental house and we've been using a lot of their dishes and silverware, but I also did bring some of our items as well. And it is so random where things are placed in this house. I just tried to put them in cabinets where I could squeeze them. So there's really no rhyme or reason. There's no organization. So for that reason, I'm usually the one who does all of the putting away of the dishes because it's so confusing. It makes no sense at all where anything is. The one nice thing about this house is that the dishes that they do have are fiesta wear, which is kind of funny because you all know that is the dishes that we have. And so it feels like we're right at home.
I've made good progress on my list. The house is all pretty much tidy with the exception of the table. I have cabinet pulls on the table. I'm trying to decide on those and a puzzle going on, not to mention all my other random things. So that's gonna have to stay, but I'll talk about that later. But everything is pretty tidy. And now it's time to leave to run some errands. Feels good to get this place tidied up. I feel like I can't go on with my day if it is just a complete disaster. So we got it all taken care of, at least for now. But I'm like ready to get out and about and run some of my errands. I like to get to the stores earlier in the day versus later when it gets a little bit busier. So I can just get in, grab what I need, and then get back home. So first, before I do that, I guess I do need to do a little light bulb count. I'm going to quickly just look through some of the main light fixtures and try to figure out the light bulbs that I need to pick up because Menards is on my list to stop at. I also want to run to Target. I have a return to make and a few things that I need to pick up. One of those being laundry detergent. What else do we need to do? Hobby Lobby. Need to run there to get just like stickers, letter stickers to put on the kids' Valentine boxes. We worked on those this weekend. It's actually been really hard to do any sort of crafting because I don't have any of my supplies here. I don't have my Cricut, which is like so hard because I'm like, oh, I could have made that with my Cricut, could have done that with my Cricut. It's okay, um, but I'll just pick up something at Hobby Lobby and we'll be good to go. Those little Valentine box kits came in handy for sure this year. What else do we need to do? P.O. box, dry cleaners. I think we have a, a lot of places to go. I better get going. I did a few boring stops and now I'm at a fun one, which is Target. I'm not doing a bunch of extra shopping today. I just want to get in and get out, get the things that I need, which is like five things, I think tops, and then head to the next location. This is literally the most expensive time of the year for us, aside from Christmas, just with all the extras that we need to add to the house now. So need to cut back. No like extravagant Target runs happening right now. Hairspray. I always buy the Tresemme. I like the price on it. I think that's why. Which one? It's this one. Grab some laundry detergent. Probably just, yeah, this will work. This might be a new record for how quick Crystal was in Target. Quickest Target run ever. You know, there's not a lot of extra spending money right now to do big Target runs. And so I kept it very small. Grabbed what I needed and only two things from the Target dollar spot that I thought would be super cute for tier trays when we get into the new house. So yes, short and sweet trip, but that's okay. Now I'm outside of Menards to go scope out the light bulb situation. I have a certain light bulb in mind for quite a few light fixtures and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find it here or if I'm going to have to order it online, which is why I'm here today, just so I can hopefully have them by the end of the week when the electrician needs them. So going to pop in there, I have my list of numbers of light bulbs. I tried to do like an estimate of what I all needed, which ones came with lights, which one need bulbs and it's it's just going to be a free for all once it's all said and done. I just want to make sure I have enough. So. Yes, going to go into Menards on a mission for all the light bulbs. So exciting, right? Looking at the light fixtures while I'm here, just to see if anything catches my eye. That one does only because it's gigantic. That's the largest bandolier I think I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. And now the light bulbs. Wish me luck. I think I just committed to daylight bulbs, which is what I had in our other house. It just works really good for if I need to record videos at night and it doesn't make the room look yellow. I don't really see any amazing bulbs. I really like these though. They have like the white on the inside instead of the yellow that you see in a lot of the other ones, but I don't know. I'm gonna stand here for a while and try to figure this out. Don't worry, I left plenty for everybody else. I think I found the ones though. I grabbed all of them. I'm also looking for the tubular style of these. This isn't the exact one. They only sell them in one packs though. And I think I need like 20, at least 20 of those. So that's not gonna work. I'm gonna probably have to buy those online. I'm not seeing those. Hmm. 
So I'm at Hobby Lobby now. This will be my last stop before heading over to the new house and then home for the afternoon until I need to pick up the kids. I've just kind of been zooming around town. Here I just need to get stickers for the kids' Valentine boxes, maybe some heart ribbon. Macy requested that for hers. And I might look at the St. Patrick's Day decor. It is on sale finally this week, and I never I never looked at it, but I did see some cute things that might work for a tear tray as I was just kind of zooming by on one of my last trips. So I might look through there too. We'll see, but we're gonna make this a quick one too. 40% off, thank goodness. I am just grabbing a bunch of random ones and I'm going to let them just choose some reds. And then we'll just use them for other craft projects as well. like anyone's been here. Kitchen cabinets. Oh my goodness. There's your little peek. I am back home briefly. It is so nice outside and by nice it's like sunny. 34 degrees. I think it feels like 29. It's just it's really nice outside so I'm gonna bring Charlie to the P-A-R-K before I need to pick up the kids from school so he can burn some energy and have some fun too. When I stopped at the house, nobody there today. And that's like, it's lunch hour of course, but there was no work done from over the weekend. And I get it, but it's just, it's disappointing. I know they have other jobs they're working on too, but it's disappointing when these are the ups and downs. So last week they were cruising and I was getting so excited. We're close and then there's nobody there. So. Yeah, the wind has been taken out of my sails today, to say the least. I'm just a little bit bummed. So I'm hoping just getting outside, getting some fresh air will make me feel a little bit better. But I will share with you what I grabbed from Hobby Lobby and Target and I guess share with you what else is going on. Hobby Lobby, I grabbed a bunch of Alphabet stickers. I think between all of these, all four kids will be able to find one that will work for their Valentine box. I just grabbed a bunch so they had a few options and our kids love stickers so I know that these will all get used eventually. And of course when they're on sale, they're pretty cheap. So worked out. I also grabbed Macy this heart ribbon, cute for her Valentines. And then some glue dots we ran out over the weekend and I just happened to see them. So we'll grab those. And last but not least, out of the St. Patrick's Day decor, I think it was 40% off, I grabbed this cute little pot. Adorable. They had black ones too, but I don't know. The green was calling my name. And then I grabbed the sparkly rainbow. This was the last one they had. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I don't have enough to do a tiered tray without my other decor. But I know the Target dollar spot will usually have a few cute things that I'm sure I'll pick up once it gets a little bit closer. Speaking of Target dollar spot, I picked up this set of three. These are tiny little signs for a tiered tray. I just thought they were hilarious. Um, please seat yourself. Absolutely no selfies. And then laundry today or naked tomorrow. They were $3. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to be so excited to get all my little Target mini tiered trays back. We're going to put them everywhere. And these will be perfect for those. And then I saw this little soap dish is what it is. thought that would be adorable also on a tray or just sitting out. Uh, I couldn't resist that. Super, super cute. And then you saw, I grabbed some laundry detergent, so I'm going to go switch my load over right now. Some Tresemme whoop, hairspray and some hair ties. We've never tried these, but Macy said she needed some, and I thought we'd give these a shot. Amazon just delivered two packages. I'm not sure what else I've been working on for the house. What is this? Oh, toilet paper holder. Another toilet paper holder. Oop, I know what those are. Okay, so we have a box of toilet paper holders. I got the shelf on the top 
We have quite a few bathrooms where there's not a vanity or anywhere close by to like set your phone or anything else. So I think that'll be cool. They're black, so I'm not gonna open them. I'm gonna wait until the um, till they open them and install it all. Don't lose anything. Well, let's look. They're all wrapped up, so I'm not gonna open them up because I probably won't get them back in the box. But yeah, got those all ordered. That's good. And then in this little box, this is cabinet hardware. And this is my next adventure. So I found a brand I think I like that I'm going to use. So I ordered champagne bronze poles and knobs. And now I'm doing some of the black mixing and matching, just depending on which room that I'm buying them for. So I haven't bought everything yet. I wanted to look at them first to make sure before I order more. So yeah, here's, oh, I think these must be the seven inch, does it say? Oh, no, these are five, what are those? Five inch, oh, this is a 20 pack, this is a 10 pack. Cabinet hardware is something I think will be one of the last things that get installed in the house, but I'm trying to be prepared and just make sure we have it and I know exactly what I want. So I've been ordering different ones to test out and see which one I like. I'm pretty sure this one is going to be out mainly because it's $16 a pull and I'm not sold that the color is even the right shade for what I'm looking for. I really wanna do champagne, bronze in the kitchen and then the basement, on the bar, in the bathroom and this just isn't the right color. It doesn't match the faucet, so I think this one's out. It's just too expensive, it really is. Now this is an Amazon one that I'm looking at. So that one I really like, so we probably will end up going with that. I just have to order, find out how many and the size. And then this is a matte black one that I ordered for a lot of the bathroom. So just really trying to compare everything and see what I like. And I think later today I have some actual like knobs, the circle knobs coming as well. And then I'm gonna wait until all the cabinets are installed, go through with final counts. I need like a clipboard or something so I can just tally. Okay, I need this of this size and this color. Oh my gosh, it is, it's a lot to keep track of. And so I might wait on that for now. Let's get these light bulbs all figured out. I did find some on Amazon that I think will work. So by the end of the day, I hope to get those ordered and then I can check that off my list, which will feel really good. dog park was fun. It was actually just Charlie and I for most of the time. There was one other dog that came closer to when we were leaving, but it was still just a beautiful day to be out there. We'll probably be there like every day this week. But the kids are home. We've been doing Valentine boxes and I've been working on laundry. And I think that's going to be it for today's video. I'm making tacos tonight for dinner. But these are pretty much what my days consist of. Out running errands and just cleaning around the house and getting things done. But thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. I have a fun video coming up later this week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.